Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you in this video how to quickly change uh, your list. Okay, so the, the list I'm talking about here could be your customer list, your vendor list, your item list, uh, all sorts of lists, but there's an easy way to quickly change uh, items on those lists without having to go into each item. Okay. So let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is go up here to this list drop down menu. Okay. You're going to see an option down here that says add, edit multiple list entries. Okay. You go ahead and click this. All right. So you see here, it brings up this screen and you'll see there's kind of a one, two, three, select a list, customize the columns and then paste from Excel or type to add or modify your list. I want to show you a couple things here. So first of all, the list that we've got here, if you click the drop down, you've got customers, vendors, service items, inventory, non inventory and inventory assemblies. All right. So we're on the customer list. Then you can go here and say all customers active. You know, you see the options here, which ones you can pull up. All right. And then up here in the upper right hand corner, we've got customized columns. Okay. So you can choose which columns that are going to show on the screen and which ones are not going to show on the screen. All right. So for example, I would think in customer, let's say customer type, we want to add that over here and we want to, uh, let's say, move it up. We'll put that first. Okay. All right. So if we hit OK, we see now we've got customer type. All right. So if we want to change, um, let's say that um, all of these, well, we've already got customer types in here, but if we did not have customer types, you could put in, you can paste it from Excel or you can simply type in what you want it to be. Okay. So if you want to go to one of them and change it, you can just change it to commercial, change it to commercial. All right. And you'll see here that it's adding in all the jobs and everything for each customer. Okay. So pretty straightforward. Now where this can come in really, really handy. Okay. Let me go ahead and save changes down here. Two customer records have been saved. Okay. Uh, is if we go to, let's say that we want to go to the service items. All right. So the service items, we've got all of our, uh, from our item list. And these are all the items that we bill for or put on invoices or sales receipts. We've got all of our service items. All right. So if we want to change the price, okay, let's say that you've got a certain number of service items and you say, you know what, we're going to up our prices all at once, you know, by, you know, to $50 or whatever it is, uh, the case may be. So if we say, okay, Let's I'll tell you what, let's change this to 60. Okay. All right. And if you want to copy this down all the way down, you can right click and you're going to see here, you can copy this all the way down. You can duplicate a row. You can clear the column. Okay. You can insert a line. So you've got some options here when you right click. So if we click uh, copy down, you'll see now that the price is now $60 for each and every item. And now if you need to change one of them individually, of course, you can go in and do that pretty straightforward. And if you need to change the account, okay, this is a quick and easy way to see the account. Uh, if you're not in the item list, uh, or the sales tax code, or if you want to customize the columns, you can add the different columns here to see. And let's say that you want all of this to go to labor income. Okay. So I can right click hit copy down and now it's all going to go to labor income. Okay. So this is a really, really handy way. And, and again, another option is if you want to paste from Excel, you can. Okay. So you can paste down multiple items to change your item list. Okay. So if we hit save changes, all right, 21 service item records have been saved. Okay. So I can go over to my item list. And if we see all our service items now, we'll see that everything is going to labor income and the price is $60 for everything except for that one that we changed to 50. Okay. So if I want to move this and show the price, there we go. Okay. 
All right, so just a quick tip. This should save you some time, most definitely, if you're making multiple changes to a list, okay? And again, you can do it for all sorts of uh, the different lists that you have in QuickBooks. Could be inventory, non-inventory, customers, vendors, service items. And again, play around with this, and this should save you some time. So you don't have to go into each individual item or customer or vendor if you're making a big change to all of them. All right. For more information and to find out the uh, typical errors that people make when using QuickBooks, head over to the QuickBooks University. I've got uh, some free videos over there to show you how to avoid those mistakes. Uh, the website QuickBooks University, which is qbuniversity.org.